Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to plot a sine wave within the Python. The compiler we are using is the PyCharm compiler. So for in order to make a sine plot, we need two libraries. The first one is the NumPy library and the second one is the matplotlib library okay so we need to write import matplotlib dot pi plot is plt okay matplotlib okay now you can see that we have two libraries the first one is numpy and the second one is matplotlib dot pi plot when you will start you can you you may see an error here like in numpy and matplotlib that is a red color dotted line so what you need to do is to click on this sign and there you can see an option that is called as the install package so you can install both of these libraries here so after it as we know that sine wave needs one independent variable in order to uh, create its uh, waveform like a time so we will create one what is called as the array that represents the time so we will write numpy dot arrange 0 comma 12 comma 0 0.1 okay so what what is meant by this a range is a function it is just like the lin space command in matlab a range function will make an array okay will make an array which starts from 0 and which ends at 12 and it will create a lot of like uh, elements in between 0 and 12 which has a difference of 0.1 okay so you can see uh, uh, while if I used to write print of t then you can see on console okay so so let me run it okay wait it, it is saying 0 comma 12 comma point 1 numpy dot range okay so our range spelling is not right so now we need to run it out and now you can see that we got all our points okay so they all have the difference of 0.1 that is 0.1 to 0.2 is 0 0.1 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 is 0 0.1 okay now now we will draw the amplitude or the amplitude of sine wave so we will write amp is equal to numpy dot sine of sine of t okay numpy dot sine of t now numpy library is having the sign function so that is why we used to write numpy dot sign sign belongs to numpy library so that is why there is dot sign in between numpy library and the sign function and sign will take an argument sign function will work on what will work on this t vector we can say it is a vector now okay or an array okay or vector or array or whatsoever so it will sign will work on each and every element of this t t vector okay now after it we need to plot that is plt dot plot plt dot plot t comma amp okay t comma amp why it is so because we know that we have an object that is called as plt object is simply a variable okay which represents this whole function this whole library okay this is an object which represents this whole library okay so we can say plt dot plot. in order to write all this we, we just need to write plt dot plot okay and plot function will plot both t and amp okay so we need to run it out okay now now we, we we need one more thing that is plt dot show function which will create a plot for us okay now we can see that our plot is ready it is from 0 to 12 on x-axis and like this okay so plt dot show 
now one more thing if you want to like uh, uh, atta attach or insert a grid then we can write plt.grid function and we will write true here so it will so it will create a grid for us okay wait let me let me check the spelling that is true now we need to run it out and we, we can see now there is a grid okay after grid can we go for like uh, x x and y so plt dot x label plt dot x label and plt dot y label okay so this one and this one so label functions will label x axis and y axis of the graph so here we will write uh, x level is time and y is level is amplitude so we will just write amp okay so it will label our okay well now you can see that it is amp and time so in this way we can create a sine wave of our choice within the pie charm so hopefully you got the concept that how you can make a sine wave or sine function within the PyCharm Python. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.